Amplify Science, Populations and Resources, Unit Chapter 3, Lesson 3.4, Final Arguments About the Jelly Increase. So the lesson begins, as always, with our warm-up. You're presented with the Glacier Seafood Web once again and ask some questions about it. Then we move on to uh, student-to-student -student discussion. Uh, you are given some uh, evidence cards that we'll look at here in a moment, and they remind you of the evidence criteria that samples that represent as much of the whole as possible provide stronger evidence. We saw that earlier in uh, the unit, and they're just reminding us of it. We also saw some evidence cards earlier in the unit. So I'm going to pop up and take a look at the evidence cards because the ones they give you in uh, in this lesson are evidence card E, F, and G. And what we have to remember is we should still have access to evidence cards A, B, C, and D from back in uh, 2.7. So when you see that it starts with E, that's why. They're assuming you still have A through D. So if not, we need to make sure you get those. Uh, and then you're going to take a look at uh, at those evidence cards along with the seafood web. And here you're going to come up with a claim, one, two, or three, as to why the population of the moon jellies increased. Uh, then you're going to move on to... Uh, developing a final written argument where you state your claim, describe your evidence, and make your argument as we do. And they, in this case, narrow you down to one of two claims. This is the point where many of you ask, um, what if I think it's a combination of, two, of the two claims or a different claim? Well, then make that claim and make sure that you can back it up with evidence. This is all about making a claim, backing up evidence, and reasoning. In step four, uh, we go back to uh, this graph we've seen a couple times already about uh, jellyfish populations. And you get back to these models you see here, uh, the birth and death models. And in this case, they provide you an algae, uh, which is based on claim one. And then claim two of your choice is the walleye. And you're supposed to model just one of these. So if you're choosing the algae claim, you're going to model this. If you're choosing the walleye claim, you're going to model in the walleye one. If you're going to make a combination, then I guess you should try to model on both of them. With the end result of you finally being able to present a full written uh, response uh, to your position. Uh, and in step five, uh, they just, you know, say, go back and take a look at your model uh, from what you've learned so far and discussions you've had with each other and as a class, uh, any changes you need to make to your argument, because as you know, we're getting, this is the end of chapter three and we're moving on to chapter four next, which is the uh, assessment pieces. So uh, you really need to know your stuff at this point. And then there's a little quick uh, self-assessment in step six. Now I'm going to go back to... Uh, step two, because that gives me access to the projections. So just to sum this up again, here's the Glacier Sea Food Web. Here are the three claims uh, that they give you as you're designing your models and you're planning this out. Again, the evidence criteria we've seen before, samples that represent as much of the whole as possible provide stronger evidence. So when we look at the evidence cards, uh, we can start to figure out which evidence is going to help us make a better claim or, I guess, uh, justify with evidence and reasoning which of the claims is most likely to happen. Uh, here's an example of an evidence card. Again, the dots are where uh, the data was collected, and you have to decide between each of these um, which of these are, are more valuable to your argument than others. And once again, we see the algae and walleye uh, claims. And make sure you pick the model that matches the claim you're going to use. Uh, so that's 3.4. It is the end of the chapter. And uh, then they move us on to chapter four, which includes uh, seminars and written, final written arguments.